Hey guys, welcome to another great day. This is Pranoy and I'm Pratik and what are we making today? We are making an auto rotating fan. So let's, let's get, get to, to it. it. Draw two lines on an ice cream strip and cut along those lines. Why are we doing this exactly? So that we have a frame for the fan to sit on. Okay, so then? Stick the two ice cream sticks with the cut pieces. Make sure to leave a gap in between for the fan to rotate. Mark and make a small hole with a pin on one side. Now we'll heat up a pin and make a hole in the cap. So we'll use a lighter. Always be careful and safe while using sharp objects and fire, both of which you're doing now. Right? Yeah. So be very careful. Now we will bend a U-pin with a pair of pliers as shown and we will stick it to the cap using a glue gun. So what, what do you use if you don't have a glue gun? You can use some super glue if you have. Yeah. But be very careful with that again, right? Yeah. Okay. Make sure that it is stuck in the center, correct? Yes. Now we'll attach the motor to the box using a glue gun. Make sure to stick the motor a little outside from the box so you can attach the wires to the motor. Mark about 3 cm from the motor and make a small hole on the box with the pin. Cut a copper wire and bend it in the following manner with pliers. Again, be very careful because you are handling very sharp pointy objects. Make sure that you are folding it in the way that is shown. It's not all on one axis. Insert the wire in the hole on the box and stick it with the glue as shown. Stick the bottle cap on the motor axis with a glue gun. Insert the first frame that we made using ice cream sticks on the wire that we just stuck to the box. Insert a screw in the second hole of the bottle cap through the sticks to secure it to the cap. But are the sticks going to be like stuck to the screw? No, they can move freely along the bottle cap. Bend the top of the wire as shown. Now we'll make the circuit. So first we need to connect two short wires to the motor. Okay, that's done. I'm guessing there's going to be a switch involved as well, isn't yes, it? Yes, and a battery as well. Great. Now stick the motor on the ice cream sticks with glue. Stick it in the middle, right? Yes. Mount the fan onto the motor. Which motor? The one that we just stuck. Connect the terminals of both the motors to the switch and the connector. We've also put the circuit diagram out here on the screen so that you can see this very clearly. Yes. Stick the battery and the switch onto the box as shown.
That was totally awesome, Pranay. The auto rotating fan is ready to use, isn't it? Yes. In this fan, there is a DC series motor in which the rotating part armature is connected in series with the stationary part. When the current is given to the motor, the magnetic field is set up, which experiences a force in the armature to move it at the right angle to feed the blades attached with the shaft of the armature thus displacing the air. This movement of air creates a breeze which is felt on the skin of the person that is in front of the fan. It's time for some fun facts. Ancient Egyptian reliefs and tombs depict Egyptian pharaohs flanked by slaves holding fans shaped like discs attached to long handles. In the early 1800s, the industrial fan was invented. A factory water wheel powered this fan. Hand fans were popular fashion accessories. They became the best means for women to secretly communicate messages to their lovers. Hey guys, I hope you liked that video. If you did, please do like, comment and subscribe because it means a lot. Till next time, happy building.